Now, is this a fight that you're <clears throat> keeping your eyes on? Like, you think you're going to try to call out the winner or? Uh, you know, I. This video today is brought to you by Flow Bottle. Flow Bottle, the bottle with a twist. Get your Flow Bottle today at flowbottle.com. Link in description below. UFC just signed Kayla Harrison, and I saw you had some thoughts about that. Yeah. What do you think about her going to 135? I just think it's going to be really hard for her. She's huge. I mean, what's she walk around? Like one se I mean, not like huge, but like she's probably 170, no, right? I mean, yeah, I think huge doesn't have to be a bad term. I mean, she's just right. a very big, strong woman. Yeah. She's well, there's claims muscular. that she actually already made the weight on some practice cuts, but I don't know how true those are. But um, if she made the practice cuts, you know, it's yeah. possible, but she's going to definitely lose my opinion, lose some power, yeah, you know, some strength. She has to. Right. So. Yeah. I'm concerned that it will suck the life out of her. Mm -hmm. Basically, your speed and timing change, and even your strength and weight distribution changes. Right. So there's a whole other side of it that she's going to have to try to learn, I feel like, in a relatively short amount of time. Now, mm -hmm. I'm sure Kayla has known about this longer than we have. Right. So I'm sure she's been already at this dropping weight for a while, I mean, they said that she said that or coaches said that the, she's already made the weight, a couple practice cuts to the weight. Really? So, huh? That's what Dana said, too. Now, is this a fight that you're <clears throat> keeping your eyes on? Like, you think you're going to try to call out the winner or? Uh, you know, I yeah, of course I'll be. I mean, yes, to answer your question, I, of course, I'll be watching it. Um, I do pick Holly as the winner in that mm -hmm. fight. Um. But, yeah, I mean, I would like to fight Holly again. And it's interesting now that Kayla's coming over in the division. You know, right. I think that would be a very fun fight as well. But um, I also like, um, who else? Irene Aldana. You okay. Know, she just fought for the championship. So, mm -hmm. and then she had one fight since then. She looked really good. So, I think she's also somebody, um, it, I think it depends on how the rankings come out. Like, I really want to continue to climb. I think mm -hmm. I'm at number eight right now. Okay. Yeah, and so we'll see how it all unfolds, gotcha. definitely. Now, what's the deal with the 45-pound division? Because they just had um, Raquel and Silva fight for 45 or 35? Was that um, they just had Raquel fight for 35. Okay. So she's a 135-pound champ now. Okay. I think 145 is just disappearing. And is that like uh, they're cutting the division or they're yeah, just kind of... I think so. They don't let it fizzle out. I don't think... Because I when, when I saw that Kayla got signed and Holly was going to fight her i thought oh this is going to happen at 145 45, right yeah for the vacant belt guarantee kayla wanted to fight at 145 mm. i guarantee it but, yeah, but it's I not happening for they a reason would put her down to 35 if they wanted to keep the they wouldn't the featherweight division yeah because that would yeah. yeah she could have been the 145 pound champ um and that would have been a little bit easier of a feat i, I think if this fight was happening at, at 145 i may be saying like that kayla has Maybe the a little bit of a favor, but I, I just think at 35, Yeah. I mean, Holly is a really strong woman. Yeah. Like when you clinch with her, she's a very powerful lady. Yeah. And she's fought at both weight classes successfully at 145 as well. So she's, you know, she's definitely big and tall for the division. But I also think she has a good style for people who have a judoka style. Mm -hmm. I loved seeing the way that she unraveled the puzzle that was Ronda Rousey. Mm, yeah. Right? So you got to think about that. Now, everyone's probably going to just compare and contrast. Uh, Kayla does have a different style of judo. Right. Then, then Ron is not as easy as just, just say, Oh, well it's going to be just like that. But I know when people reach for Holly's head, she is just so good at navigating that. I think she does a better job defending judo than she does like leg wrestling. Okay. I just think her style is made better for that. She's also pretty tall. Pretty is tall for is Kayla more like going for the lower body or is she more up like trying to keep it upper body? She will do both. Okay. But I find that she will on the outside. A lot of times she's going f if they're out in the open, she'll mm -hmm. try to she'll try to clinch and and go for the head. Okay. Get a hold of the upper body. Okay. But it seems like when she's against the cage, she, you know, she'll drop down and doubles. And she has shot out in the open a little bit and things like that too. I mean, I think yeah. she's she's versatile. She's able to do both. Mm -hmm. But um, but judo is really her background. I mean, she's an Olympic yeah. medalist. She's two time gold medalist, right? Yeah. Bronze so, no. I, I think Rhonda got bronze. Yeah, and then Rhonda got bronze. Kayla got, Kayla got gold, gold twice, yeah. I think. Was it gold? Yeah. Yeah. 
But judo, didn't judo change their rules like in 2012 to kind of disincentivize like freestyle wrestlers coming over and yeah. dominating them? They did. I'm not 100% clear on exactly how those changes work, but I know it changed how you double, like the double leg rule set that you couldn't just come over and it, do that. And like there's some, I, some of the rules. I think the way they did it, because it used to be a gi top and I, I don't know if they had gi bottoms or not. But basically, what I, I think they did was they just changed it to Greco for, um, with a gi, yeah. and yeah, so they made it. Right. They made it so you could because I think what was happening was like guys that would you know get second or third in the freestyle championships would come over and do really really well in the judo. I, I don't know that for sure. I don't have any names off the top of my head, but I've heard that um, people that did not win in freestyle had come over and made the teams in judo. And they had never done judo before. Have you heard that before? Yeah. yeah. I've heard yeah. that. I wish we had some names because somebody's probably, yeah. if you're listening, like comment if that's <laughs> ever happened, comments. if we're just full of shit. Um, 